If your inbox is anything like mine, then not only do you get too many emails, they seem to be all over the place and almost impossible to reach that oh so <laughs> blissful state of inbox zero. So in this productivity guide, you're going to learn how to finally get to inbox zero. Okay, well, probably not finally, but we're going to get as close as possible by categorizing and organizing as many emails as possible using filters and labels. So timestamps below, along with some other helpful guides to being organized with your email and files. Let's go ahead, jump into my screen here. So I have a couple of mock emails. I got someone on my team to help me out. I just sent them a bunch of emails. And you can see here, we the first one, project update, this is a fellow team member. We have why is spin down. This is an unhappy client. Then I can't log in. This is an unhappy customer. And then do you do consulting? I like these emails because it's a potential customer. So what we want to do is have these types of emails automatically categorized every time they hit their our inbox or if it's for the first time, we move them to a label so we clearly know what type of email it is. Now the easiest way to do this is of course going through an example. So I'm going to click on project update and I'm going to start with team. So you can see here there's a question from myself, it's a little meta, but <laughs> let's just pretend that this is from someone else. So we'll go ahead and click the three little dots here at the top and then we will click filter messages like these. Now in some instances, when I click this, uh, here we go, when I click it, you'll see that the from will be either blank or it will be a long string of text that is obviously not an email and it just says list and a bunch of jargon. In that particular instance, you will have to go back and copy the actual email it came from. And this is just something that sometimes Gmail messes, thing, messes things up when an automated email has been sent to you. So just wanted to point that out. You can also add subject or two if you have multiple emails, but here we're gonna keep things simple. We're just gonna filter by the email itself. We'll go ahead and click on create filter here. And then I'm going to check on apply label. And then of course, if you already have labels, you can go ahead and choose one. Here we are using a new account for this example, so we're going to have to create one. Now, what I recommend doing is having anywhere from four to seven main categories for every single email that you receive. For me, my four main categories are team, that's fellow mem team members who are emailing me if we're not using Basecamp for some reason. Then I have content because we just get a lot of general questions in our inbox about our content and posts. Then we of course have product and then we have sales funnel. And sales funnel is just pretty much anyone who's looking to potentially do business with us. And of the other two that I recommend having is one for personal and then of course one for what I like to call noise or swipe file. And that is all those automated newsletters that we don't actually need to read, and so I tend to auto-archive them. So I'll show you how to auto-archive um, in the next example. So here I'll go ahead and call this team, and I won't nest it under a label, so you can get really detailed where you can have a label, a sub, a sub, a sub, a sub, a sub, and then it then it probably just gets uh, too, too, too organized. So we'll go ahead and click create here, and then you can say also apply to, to matching conversations. So I used the same email for some of these examples. And so what this will do is every time this person sends us an email, we will have the label of team applied to them. So I'll go ahead and click on create. And now you can see that this label here has been applied to this first one, project update. Now what I recommend doing is color coding so it's very easy to quickly go through your the long list of emails that you have. So I'll go ahead and click on team here and I will click on the three little dots when you mouse over and I'll change the tab color to orange. So we'll go ahead and change it to orange. So now every time this team member emails me, there's going to be a label here in orange that says team. And so this is one of the ways that you don't have to do this for literally every single one that hits your inbox. I know I'm pretty OCD, but this is a very good way to make sure that you don't miss emails from important real people. So speaking of important real people, we should probably check in on some of our customers and clients that are not happy with, with us. So I'll skip why is spin down. We'll go ahead and go to the I can't log in. So this is a customer who is not happy and they're sending the support to the wrong email, although I digress. So what we'll do is we'll click on these three little dots. We'll click filter messages like these. It's pulling in their actual email because it's a real person and not an automation. We'll click create filter, except this time, uh, just for example purposes, not that I do this to our customers, <laughs> we'll go ahead and click on skip inbox and archive. We will of course apply a label and then also apply to four matching conversations. Took us, we sent a couple test emails to 
to kind of get the screenshots right. So we'll go ahead and click on the down arrow here and you can see we can select team, the one we just created, but this is a customer. So we'll go ahead and click on new label and we'll just call it customer. We won't nest it under anyone and we'll click on create here. And then once we create the filter, you'll see that two of the emails have disappeared and they've automatically been archived to the customer tab. So here what we're gonna tab label, <laughs> customer label. These are your tabs up here. So what we'll do is we'll mouse over our, our new customer label, click on the three little dots, label, and we will make it red. And so that way, when a new email from a customer hits this particular inbox, it will be red. Now, of course, I clicked on archive, which I wouldn't do to a customer or a client, but I recommend clicking archive when you're receiving emails from a non-real person. So just example purposes, not saying to do that to real people, unless you just don't want to tell them to stop emailing you, then you could do that. But that does it for setting up your labels and your filters. I highly recommend going through this process, at least getting started by with people on your team and your customers and your clients. And then of course you can expand out from there because it can take hours on end if you try and go through every single email and categorize it in one fell swoop. So I highly recommend just start with the important ones, the important people in your life, your bosses, your customers, your team members, and then you slowly expand out from there and hopefully you will eventually hit inbox zero. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video and some ideas on how to tame the seemingly untamable inbox. So hit that like button, subscribe for more productivity videos just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.